In everyday life, all beings have many uncertainties that cause a lot of troubles in their lives throughout the age. Nevertheless, deep within each being, they observe life, making their instinct always seek the path to enlightenment, even though their minds and bodies are unaware of this. Today, Guru will share with you everything that I have learned after years of diligently seeking enlightenment in the world of human beings in this scientific era. Reminding and advising you about the word, awakening, which is derived from genuine meditation in your daily life, because Guru knows that you, too, have sought its benefits through various meditation methods in the human realm. The meditation method that Guru wants to introduce is called the ancient holy sound of Lord. For thousands of years, past enlightened masters all over the world have brought down this meditation method from heaven to teach to sentient beings. In many scriptures of major religions around the world, the ancient meditation method of the sound of Lord is documented and described by various names, one of which is the inner light and sound meditation method. At the beginning of the 6th century, Bodhidharma, who is an Indian master, brought the meditation method of inner light and sound to China, became the first patriarch of the ancient line of meditation, the sound of Lord, in mainland China. Continuing the mission of patriarch Bodhidharma, over the next three centuries, the five successive patriarchs, including the second patriarch Wei Ka, the third patriarch Tang San, the fourth patriarch Dao Tin, the fifth patriarch Hoang Nyan and the sixth patriarch Wei Nung, continued the preaching of the Dharma for the sake of beings, continued the spread of the meditation method, the sound of Lord, on the human world under the following names. Quan Yin Meditation Method, Method of Listening to the Truth and Self-Nature, Meditation Method of Listening to the Inner Sound, Miraculous Sound Meditation Method, The Mind-to-Mind -mind Meditation Method, Meditation Method of Esoteric Teachings, etc. In Christian scriptures, Jesus had called this meditation method the Word of the Lord. Well, this phenomenon in our mind and outside our body is like the two inseparable sides of a human life. They are closely intertwined, coexisting just like the two sides of the same coin. The first side is consciousness, the thoughts and perceptions of the mind. The second side is the wise premonitions hidden in our mind. Only when we step onto the path of meditating the ancient Lord's holy sound under the spiritual guidance of a living enlightened master, 
Do we truly comprehend the difference between the two sides of the same coin? The first side of the coin is the consciousness that people perceive with the five senses on the body, such as breathing, emotions of joy, anger, love and sadness in the mind, creating emotions and exchanges when they encounter contradictory situations in life, developing desires, hatred, resentment, afflictions, etc. It is considered as a very low consciousness of sentient beings' ordinary mind, also known as Asura's emotions. The second side of the coin is expressed as follows. We will not only observe the world outside the body with our five senses, we will observe our whole body and mind by being silent, going deep into meditation and listening to our own power of Lord's holy sound from within. These inner power of the Lord's holy sound will help us eliminate the lower Asura emotions. That is considered as observing with wisdom, listening to the spiritual power from within, listening to your self-nature, feeling your original soul, realizing your true Buddha nature, also known as returning to your true self. By doing so, we can avoid the vexations in our own heart, evade all the vexations of the human world that infiltrate our daily life, every hour, every minute. We still face reality, but instead of vexation, we remain profoundly tranquil within the power of the Lord's holy sound. If you know how to make every effort to focus on the inner supreme sound, you will attain the power of great wisdom. The strength of the inner power of the Lord's holy sound will soothe all vexations, and you will no longer have to live in anxiety, worry, and insecurity. All negative thoughts, prejudices, fears, inferiority complexes, and even pride and ego in the past are all burned away by the inner spiritual power of the Lord's holy sound. Because this spiritual power is the power of profound great wisdom within us. It is the power of love and compassion of the universe, of Almighty God that resides deep inside every sentient being. If you consistently keep on practicing the ancient meditation method, the sound of Lord, which in this life Ruma has transmitted to your soul at the time of your initiation, the negative emotions that cause suffering will be completely eliminated. You will begin to have a happy life and less trouble. Every day, after completing your work, you should sit down, close your eyes and listen to your inner self, listen to your inner wisdom. You will feel the inner spiritual power of the Lord's holy sound flow like a waterfall. This spiritual power will help wash away all worldly affections, worries and misfortunes. For many years of propagating the true Dharma for humanity saving, according to the general level of humanity, Guru has explained this in the easiest way of human language for beings to understand. Holy sound meditation or the inner light and sound meditation are just names and its true spiritual nature is the spiritual power that vibrates the inner souls of sentient beings. That is the wisdom of the universe, 
also known as the insightness and sharpness of our souls. Through the inner spiritual power of the Lord's holy sound, Guru will guide you on how to use wisdom to observe your true nature, both internally and externally. The majority of living beings observe and interpret external circumstances and forget about the truth within themselves. People always search for external explanations of their misfortunes, they forget that the root of suffering comes from internal causes. As a result, they always blame the situation and others, they spend their whole lives trying to change external reality, not knowing how to look inward. Then the thick layer of ignorance always covers their entire life obscuring their profound wisdom. Without meeting the enlightened master, they will never discover the source of misery, greed, anger, ignorance, the attachment of human interrelation, and the desire for illusion and fame, therefore, they are forever immersed in suffering. Lifetime after lifetime, Almighty God always sends all enlightened masters down to the suffering of sentient beings. In the early stages of fulfilling the mission of an enlightened master, they also look outward and do not look within like all sentient beings. They must also experience the hardships to understand all the sufferings of sentient beings. It is from there that they go deep into the inner meditation life, seeking the path to liberation. Therefore, wisdom, enlightenment, the source of the soul, and peace all lie within us. The power of the Lord's holy sound always resonates within us. You, you must turn inward through meditation to truly perceive these vibrational forces. The moment Guru imparts the initiation, you have already felt some of the wonders within yourself. That's when your wisdom begins to unfold. The power of the Lord's holy sound within will help you avoid the blind reactions of the mundane mind to pleasant or unpleasant experiences in this realm. It will prevent you from looking at the negating force, from making judgments of right and wrong, truth and falsehood, from dividing, from holding grudges, and from blaming anyone. Instead, you will understand that all errors come from karmic hindrances, from one's own ignorance. By now, all the meditators have understood the two sides of the coin, haven't you? Once we understand, we can handle, be conscious of, and control our own minds. Oversee what is happening in our bodies comprehensively rather than looking at any specific aspect. Observe everyone with our wisdom and love, without losing our tranquility and clarity. When we are calm, listening with compassion to the power of the Lord's holy sound within, we don't hear with our ears but with our own wisdom. Immediately cease negative reactions to the external, stop increasing your own suffering, and refrain from looking at the suffering of others. Let the vexations manifest on their own and then dissipate by the power of your Lord's holy sound. Happiness or unhappiness both originate from within us. Try to go deep within, and you will transcend all vexations and sufferings in life.
The more you practice the ancient Lord's holy sound meditation method, listening both within and without, you will feel the sacred vibrations in the poems, verses, and the musical compositions that Guru recites through the art of life. You will perceive the truth that Guru reminds you of within them. Most sentient beings tend to focus outward, very few look inward, so Guru uses the art of life, singing like a singer. Guru is not a professional singer. Guru's voice may not easily persuade the minds of people according to the standards they desire. However, those are just external artistic sounds, while the core within Guru's voice is the power of the Lord's holy sound. When practicing the ancient Lord's holy sound method of meditation, you will eliminate all vexations. If it's difficult to eliminate them instantly, don't rush. Instead, listen to the meditative harmonies of Guru or hear Gurus singing through the musical compositions that I have sung. The power of the Lord's holy sound in Guru's voice will cleanse and help you gradually go deep within. All vexations will quickly dissolve as you gently open the melodies of Guru. Your mind will gradually become free from impurities and become purer due to the cleansing power of the Lord's holy sound within Guru's singing. When your mind is serene, peaceful, filled with love, compassion, the inner affirmation will overflow. There will be no room for envy and sorrow in your mind. Through your wisdom, you will look into the wisdom of others. You will no longer be unsettled by the mundane mind and negating forces, no more dark and negative thoughts, but filled with compassion, boundless love, empathy, and understanding in the face of the suffering and unhappiness of others. Happiness will come to us through this path of love. When you have heard the power of the Lord's holy sound by going deep into Samadhi, you will always rejoice in your own success and joy as well as that of others, always be at peace in all circumstances. Bliss will come from within when we meditate and concentrate. Meditation is an incredibly subtle and refined practice that brings peace to life, and it is of utmost importance and indispensable shaping the quality of one's life. To succeed in meditation, the most crucial aspect is your ability to focus. When you achieve a high degree of concentration, only then can you go deep into samadhi, becoming aware of the inner and outer worlds with clarity and insight. Prince Siddhartha Gautama, after six years of austere practice, went deep into samadhi, delving deep into the power of the Lord's holy sound. He understood the entire cosmic universe and deeply comprehended the suffering of sentient beings. From there, he eradicated his ego and became the enlightened one, Shakyamuni. The path to enlightenment for many other enlightened masters is also like this. All negative habits in human life, the inclination to be cruel, ruthless, selfish, etc., can all be changed through meditation. Indeed, the method to eliminate them lies within us.
When you go deep into samadhi with the Lord's holy sound, your soul will become increasingly pure and sublime. Negative words, unhappiness, harsh actions, cruelty, etc., will naturally depart from you. Joy and bliss will come to you and to others. Whenever you meet someone or go anywhere, you should always wear a peaceful and friendly smile. Never let negation arise within you, affecting your meditation, having a negative impact on others, and hindering your path to liberation. Maintaining a balanced mind and a smiling face not only in moments of joy but in all circumstances, even in adversity and harsh conditions, creates an atmosphere filled with love and harmony. This is highly important. It will make it easier for you to go deep into samadhi. You will touch every corner of the cosmic universe through the power of liberation in this lifetime. The power of samadhi with the Lord's holy sound not only has a positive impact on yourself, but also brings many benefits to others and aids all sentient beings on earth. By always turning inward, we will possess a tremendous reservoir of wisdom liberation power in our lifetime. The ancient Lord's holy sound method will lead us to the profound understanding of the entire cosmic universe, the ultimate realization of wisdom within. Maintain inner tranquility in the face of the emotions of others and of your own. Seek to separate yourself from the trivial forces, desire, ego, envy, superstitious beliefs, and idolatry of deities in the human world. The power of the Lord's holy sound, when you go deep into samadhi, will assist you in avoiding entanglement with negative forces, but you must maintain samadhi in your daily life. We don't avoid or remain indifferent to the challenges in the external world, but we practice to gain a profound understanding of the world of negation through the meditation practice of the ancient Lord's holy sound method. We become highly sensitive to the suffering of sentient beings, striving to the best of our ability to alleviate this suffering through our meditation, through our words, gestures, and affirmative actions, through the compassion, benevolence, and loving-kindness from the heart and wisdom within. We don't discriminate between wealth and poverty, or between practitioners of different methods in the world. What matters most is opening our hearts to love all living beings and everything. The deeper you go in meditation, the more you will express love from within, not with a troubled mind but with a heart full of love, compassion, and emotional equanimity in life, understanding that everything outside is impermanent, while the sacredness resides within us. Peace is the power of affirmation. A troubled mind is negation. To avoid a troubled mind, you need to lean on the power of the Lord's holy sound. Use it to cleanse and repel the attacks of negation. Use it to learn the truth from the suffering and sorrow of sentient beings. Gradually, your heart will open, confident, wholehearted, passionate, and accompany Guru propagating the true Dharma to save sentient beings with absolute faith in the Master and Almighty God. Meditation is the greatest power of peace. The compassionate power within you is wisdom. All the doubts and entanglements that have tormented humanity for lifetimes are unraveled by this power. Happiness and joy will help us forgive and love, considering the happiness and peace of others as a gift that life brings to us. So, being happy in samadhi every day is essential in life. 
It is not only the best spiritual food but also a source of pure nourishment for our bodies. Just as our physical bodies need food daily to sustain them, our inner soul also requires nourishment from this deep meditation power. Lord Buddha Shakyamuni also taught the art of finding peace in life for sentient beings during his time on earth. Therefore, meditation with the power of the Lord's holy sound is an art of peace in the world and the art of wisdom for all beings. Throughout history, all great masters have not established any religion, and they are not the founders of any sects either. The truth proclaimed by the masters in all ages is the same, and the path to attain that truth is the power of the Lord's holy sound. Religion is a creation of the human mind. In the past, Lord Buddha and his ordained disciples only shared the truth with those who were ready. He never taught any rituals, superstitious practices, or divination like worshipping deities, fortune-telling, seeking amulets, using astrology, or spirit possession, and so on. History records that Lord Buddha, Shakyamuni, taught people to be vegetarians, to practice deep meditation to realize the profound nature of inner wisdom, attain the fruit of enlightenment within, and cleanse themselves from ignorance and suffering. He provided various teachings and encouraged individuals to use their inner wisdom to observe the world through the lens of natural existence helping them understand the source of suffering and how to eliminate it through the power of the The Lord's Holy Sound. People, from generation to generation, live in ignorance, and that's why they often act in ways that harm themselves and others. Because the veil of ignorance covers them, they cannot escape this darkness and continue to create negative karma. Once individuals have their wisdom opened, learn to listen to the power of the Lord's holy sound, are deeply connected to the five holy names, and have nurtured unwavering faith through the inner teachings of a guru, their inherent negative habits will undoubtedly be gradually washed away by the power of the Lord's holy sound from their wisdom within. When the mind becomes calm and ceases to react to ignorance, greed, anger, delusion, envy, hatred, we will have the strength to transcend the unethical and the ignorant, and find deep peace, which has always been within us. For thousands of years, our hearts have understood the teachings of the Buddha, and we know that the truths he expounded in the scriptures are like bright gems, guiding sentient beings on how to behave correctly and how to meditate, directing us inward to cultivate love, to develop affirming qualities, and to eliminate negativity. 
push away negativity and denial from your life. Bring benefits to yourself and others through love, compassion, and wisdom. This is all that Guru wants to explain to you. All enlightened masters who come down to the world speak and act in the same way, with nothing different but the compassionate support for sentient beings and those who have affinity with them, guiding them towards the path of enlightenment in their lifetime. Through Guru's guidance, you need to understand your true self not by flipping through books to read or seeking to grasp the truth through theory or intellectual emotions. Your faith in Guru alone is not enough to touch the truth until you have gone deep into meditation with the Lord's holy sound. Profound faith, along with deep samadhi in this Lord's holy sound, will help you accept everything that happens with great equanimity and beauty. Otherwise, we may easily succumb to the external world's negativity and be drawn into darkness. Those superficial, illusory books on the outside won't bring you enlightenment. You need to question yourself and go deep into meditation to understand the true reality through inner spiritual experiences, not through books. Going deep into samadhi, diving into your own mind, will help you escape the worldly suffering on the outside. The more you meditate, this experience will be directly verified within us. The observation from the inner wisdom, the focus on it, is called meditation with the Lord's holy sound. Listening to the sound of the Supreme Being within yourself, listening to the power of inner wisdom, listening to the power of love from your heart is called, the inner sound of the Lord. In the time of Lord Buddha, he expressed this as listen to self-nature, listen to inner wisdom, listen to the word of blessing from the Lord. For the people of Vietnam, these phrases might be a bit hard to understand because traditionally, the Vietnamese people have only heard them through Buddhist scriptures and haven't heard them through the inner wisdom of an enlightened master. Thanks to the grace of the MIT God, in this lifetime, our country, Vietnam, has had an enlightened master's appearance, and it is being covered by this great Lord's holy sound. Through meditation with the power of the Lord's holy sound, we will observe things according to their true nature gently, rather than just seeing them through their external appearance. Remember to always look at everything with the inner wisdom. Once you have gone through the power of deep meditation, you will see the entire structure of the inner wisdom, and when you have truly experienced the reality, you will know how to stop reacting to delusions, superstitions, and worship. You will also have a deeper understanding of the teachings of the Buddha. Naturally, you will stop creating new worries, and the old worries will be gradually dissolved by the Lord's holy sound. The more you focus on meditation and nurture your faith in the Supreme Lord and your spiritual teacher, the negative aspects within you will naturally fade away without your awareness. You will be free from suffering and enjoy the peace and bliss of the Divine, the Universe, in Samadhi. The more you meditate with devotion in the Lord's holy sound, the more you will clearly perceive the inner serenity in your heart.
In a meditation session, spiritual practice consists of two main parts, the light part and the sound part, also known as the Lord's holy sound. Therefore, first and foremost, you should avoid and eliminate negative words and actions. Refrain from saying things that harm others and diminish joy and harmony with those around you. It's impossible to enter meditation and attain liberation in a single day or hour. So we need to remove all suffering that arises from our own ego. Practice liberation from the impermanence in our ordinary mind and not say or act in ways that increase inner and outer disturbances. Do you understand the important guidelines when you first receive the initiation from Guru during your initial practice of the ancient Lord's Holy Sound Meditation Method? Indeed, the guidelines provided by Guru such as not killing, not stealing, not committing adultery, not lying, and refraining from using intoxicants, are meant to help your mind avoid disturbances and restlessness in your life. These guidelines, which you receive when first being initiated into the light and sound meditation with the five holy names, will help you focus more inwardly, reduce mental distractions, and facilitate deep concentration for samadhi. Guru finishes here. Everything in this human world is the suffering of human existence. I hope that the power of the Lord's holy sound will bring much goodness and peace to your life. Once again, Guru wishes you to harvest abundant peace and contentment in meditation with the power of the Lord's holy sound so that your life is truly full of happiness and liberation for your entire lifetime. Guru prays for the peace and well-being of all beings.